In this video, we will show how to create neck tape. There are two methods. The first method is by creating a pattern piece for the trim. Begin by measuring the edge where the neck tape will be placed. Insert a rectangle the length of the edge with the height of the neck band trim. Add a corner point where the neck tape ends on the back neck band. Select the back neck band edge. Use clone by offset to create internal lines. Set the offset to half the width of the neck tape and the amount of one. Repeat for the back neck edge on the back body. Arrange the neck tape. Adjust the layer so that the neck tape is below the other layers. Lower the grid size to 0.3 to 0.5. Stitch the bottom of the neck tape to the internal line on the back body neckline. Stitch the top of the neck tape to the internal line on the back neck band. Dress the neck tape. Add a single needle seam and set the offset value. Apply a single needle to the neck tape edge. Apply a single needle to the internal lines where the neck tape is stitched. By default, open stitch construction is applied to the internal lines. Select the internal line and set the stitch construction to flat. To finish the neck tape, we need to reinforce the pattern piece. Currently, there are only two layers of fabric overlapping. Checking a physical construction of neck tape, there will be at least four layers of fabric. We can use force multiplier to add the effect of the other layers. Selecting the edge of the neck tape, check the option for force multiplier. Set the amount to four and the depth equal to the height of the neck tape. Then dress to see the update. The second method is by edge assignable trim. This can be done in two ways, with a scanned image of the physical neck tape or by grouping the fabric texture with a seam. This approach is best for neck tape with similar color to the garment fabric. The first option is using a scanned image of the physical neck tape and applying it to the edge. We can add the repeatable image as an edge assignable trim. We will only be using half the image, so it's best to be sure the image repeats mirrored vertically as well as from side to side. Next, assign the neck tape to the back neckline on the back body and the neck band in 3D. Using the image editor, we can confirm or adjust as needed the height of the image. Then we can crop the image directly in vSitcher. We will crop the image to be half the height. Choose the Crop tab. Unlink the width and the height. Divide the height by two. Be sure the selection area is on the lower half. Now we have a neck tape on the neckline, but it also shows on the outside of the garment. We need to hide the outward facing side of the neck tape. Because we assigned the neck tape in 3D from the inside of the garment, the face of the neck tape is displayed on the inside and the back is displayed on the outside. Note, this is the recommended method if you are using a folded neck band with a negative fold direction. This makes the face of the fabric appear on the inside and outside of the neck band. Hide the back of the neck tape so that it only shows on the inside of the garment. 
If you use a single layer neckband, you can assign the neck tape to the inside or outside, but if it's assigned to the outside, then you would hide the face of the neck tape. To finish the visual, we need to group a single needle seam with a neck tape. Drag and drop a single needle seam to create a group. Set the offset equal to the stitch offset on the neck tape. If using a folded neckband with a negative fold line, we will also need to assign the neck tape edge assignable trim to the inside opposite edge of the neckband. Applying it this way will show the single needle stitch on the outside and hide the neck tape image. The last step is to add a physical effect of the neck tape. For this method, we select all the edges of the neckline where the neck tape would be applied. Then click Force Multiplier. Set the amount to 4 and the depth to half the height of the neck tape. The second option is best for when you do not have a clear image of the physical neck tape to use. If the same fabric is used for the neck tape and the garment fabric, we can save a copy of the fabric texture and use it as the neck tape texture. We will start by opening the image editor of the garment fabric diffuse map. Using edit externally, we can open the diffuse map in Photoshop. We can crop the image to half the height of the neck tape. Remember to check that the texture repeats when mirrored vertically. Then we use Save As to save the image to our computer. Back in vSitcher, we can use this texture in place of the physical neck tape. We will apply it using the same method. This method can look a bit more flat. We can add a shadow seam by making one in Photoshop like this. Now the neck tape has more depth. Another option would be to convert the shadow to a normal map. In this video, you've learned how to create neck tape. For more information, check out the Browseware Help Center.